wouldn't know a cookie sheet could burn but uh what's everybody say we uh we get started eh? definitely burn <laughs> no point in dilly dallying any farther i don't think switch on over to the proper game view there i got a little bit of a uh, cutscene playing out here the uh intro sequence get the game audio up and going too this looks like a game that we can have turned up a little bit higher there I don't know what it is about Lord of the Rings, but that game is so much louder than pretty much everything else. It is insane. Just chilling, got some blue raspberry lemonade Italian ice. Very nice, man. I never think to buy Italian ice, but I actually really like Italian ice. I love it, but I never think to get it. I usually just get the, the lemon one, man. That's probably my favorite. Just love some lemon Italian ice. Very good, very good. Alright, so for tonight on the PS2 Gauntlet, we are playing a bit of Inuyasha, The Secret of the Cursed Mask. I played this game a fair few times as a kid, rented it. Um, I don't think I ever properly owned it, I don't think. But uh, still, played it a fair bit. And then I, I, always, I always really enjoyed it, and I always wanted to get around to beating it, but I never did. And so I saw it for a pretty reasonable price not too long ago so I had to pick it up man like I said it's it, sadly it is one of the games that I have without a box or anything but screw it what? you know you gotta be kidding are you sure they're going steady come on you don't have to go and flip out over it boy you sure are clued out when it comes to noticing stuff like that one look at them and it's so obvious do you really think so yeah like another obvious couple what double cuts with Momo Chan too Chill out! Would you quit making a scene about it, you big doofus? It's just that they're still only in junior high. Get real, would ya? Already in junior high is more like it. It's hardly unusual. There are a lot of guys who already have girlfriends. Like Sakai, and there's Akira, and Xi'an. Oh, and Takuya! Even Takuya? What, you didn't know? No. Blue Raspberry Lemonade Swirl sounds really good. Shocker this has been, and here I thought I was Takuya's good friend. Huh. I guess he didn't want to make you feel bad. What are you saying? You know, you don't have a girl yet. Hmm? <laughs> you sure blush easily, Kururugi. <laughs> Next stop, Kururugi Shrine. Kururugi Shrine. Please ring the bell if you want to get off. This is our stop. Whose name did you write on the doll? Like I'm gonna tell ya. You write a person's name on the doll, see? Then you'll be able to see them. Ah, it's like magic, mommy! Just trying to let the cutscene play out, I don't want to interrupt you too much. Knew I was gonna be late. Especially since there's no subtitles. Sorry I'm late, Dad. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. You know this is the Doll Festival of Wishes. Uh, yeah, but my homeroom class went way over time. I'll get changed and come right back. No, hang on. Huh? Hey, I thank you, Mr. Noodle. Please go to the storehouse and get me some more amulets. You got it. You're always very supportive, love. Thank you. Let's see. I think we put the box with amulets somewhere in the back last year. Wish what do you I'd stop to get a flashlight? I don't even know what you're going on about, love. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Uh, ow, this place is dangerous. The floor is totally rotten. And so is my luck today. I'll get Dad to fix it later. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! <laughs> Love you too, weirdo. Uh, where am I? Alright, uh, so while we have a quick pause here, Nate said they have red, blue, white. It's cherry lemonade swirl ones and blue raspberry lemonade swirl. We don't buy a whole lot of cherry stuff because Mr. Noodle uh, possibly has an allergy. 
some weird things happen to her mouth every time she <laughs> eats anything cherry flavored. So we don't we don't tend to have too much cherry flavored stuff. But blue raspberry lemonade sounds fantastic. And again, I, I just love lemonade ones as well, Nate. So one of these days, Mr. Noodle, if you remember, uh, or if I remember, we should get some of the Italian ice, man. Put some in our freezer. And Mr. Noodle, you're still weird. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for being here, of course. But I don't know what you're going on about half the time. Yeah, you did give me some ice cream. And the ice cream is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> if you're going to be mean, I'm going to leave. How am I being mean? Yeah, we fell through a hole, right? I have to get ready for the festival. Fell through a hole all the way to the other side of the earth, apparently. Made it to a forest. Or is this like center, journey to the center of the earth sort of deal? This is weird. I don't know this place. Father? Please answer me. Mom? Dad? Why won't you answer me? Where is everyone? I don't remember if the story's any different between the if you play a girl or if you play a boy. I don't remember. I don't think it's uh, different in any meaningful way, but I could be wrong. All right, let's go to config. Uh, okay, we can mess with the controls. And is that it? That's uh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping maybe we could turn on some subtitles or, or mess around with some of the audio settings or something. But nope, looks like we can do exactly nothing. So that's all right. No one's here. How could that be? Uh. That's right, my cell. I'll call the house with my cell phone. Nate, if you're still around, have you ever watched the Inuyasha TV show? I don't think I've ever actually finished it, but I watched it a lot growing up, at least. I can't get through. Just wait till you find out you're in feudal Japan, man. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> Yep, that's not gonna work. You can keep trying, but I can't get through. I'm outside, but there's no signal. I wonder why. Hmm. I wonder. So yeah. Now I've been excited to play this one for a while. It's another turn based JRPG oh, style game, which I'm a huge fan of, if any somehow don't know. Uh, <laughs> so it's right up my alley, and I, like I was saying, I really like the TV show, so I was always pretty excited to play it, but I never, I never finished it, though. Probably because I never actually owned it. Why are they wearing kimonos? I think he's figuring it out, finally. There it is! What? There it is! There it is, guys! I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, I watched the heck out of it in the movie, so I haven't watched it all the way through, though. Me neither, man. I just I need to sit down and just watch it from beginning to end. Why are you carrying a weapon? Plus, I'm pretty sure they're doing, uh, like, some new episodes or, or a spinoff. Maybe it was a spinoff or something. I don't remember exactly, but... Demon? What are you talking about? Demon, where have you taken my daughter? Wait, I just... What are you saying now? I can't tell. I think they think we're a demon. <laughs> uh, well, if you'd give me control of the character, maybe I could run away. <laughs> I can't do anything right now. It's all up to you, kid. But what's happening? I don't understand what's going on. Where's You'll figure house? it all out. It's okay. Huh? Just take a breath, huh? Was that them? Is this a joke? A demon now? <laughs> I thought I smelled something tasty. It's a human. Oh man, look at that. That blue ass demon. What? That thing's scary what AF. You know, I'm joking, but like in real life, if you were to fall through a hole into a land you couldn't understand, and then all of a sudden this blue dude, hardly wearing a, a skirt, just started running up to you talking about eating you, mm, 
Yeah, I don't know. You might be a little scared, too. <laughs> It'd actually be pretty scary. Like, jokes aside, man. Be freaking out just a little bit, you know? <laughs> a dude painted from head to toe in blue. Just, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> uh. I always like the half demon aspect since you were little, so you ended up watching Inuyasha every chance you got. Yeah, and that's like on uh, Adult Swim, man. I would watch it every time I was up and it was on, you know? I loved the show. I just never got around to, to watching it in its entirety. I think it's available on Hulu or something here in the States. I don't remember exactly what service, but I remember looking for it and finding at least most of it, if not all of it, available somewhere. Hey. Sadly, I don't think it was available on VRV or Crunchyroll, but Who's that? that's where I prefer to watch my anime, but you know. Oh. Guess it is what it is. What are you? Dog ears? Huh? Hey, wait a minute. I don't know if I like what all the voice acting, of? like... It's not like I'm gonna eat you. It's okay. well voice acted. But at the same time, like, it'd be so much faster just to click through it all. I'm scared. Don't come near me. I guess Don't at least it gives it? you the choice to. Like, I can click through it all, even though it is voice Never acting. Mind. So I'll give it you that. Great. What kind of technique was that? You beat that demon by shining that light on him. I have no idea what I did, man. To technique. be honest. Demon. What? That's right. I was being chased by a demon. And then that light. Don't tell me you forgot, man. Like, that was, what, a minute ago, if that? You got some amnesia now, too? Those look like Kagome's clothes. You came from the present, didn't you? Do you know where I came from? Please, tell me how I can get back. Huh? The present? Yeah. What do you mean? The present, you know. Hyped when you saw it was in Yuasha, always liked the art style too. Hell yeah, man. It's a very nice uh, looking anime. And even all of the art done for the game, I think, looks really nice too. At least in like the, the cut scenes and the character portraits and all that stuff. The actual game art looks pretty decent from what we've seen so far. The models maybe are a little simplistic, the but present. that's fine. You know, who cares? Wait, please help me understand. What a hassle. Come on, follow me. If you ask Kagome, she can probably explain things. And then I'm not 100% positive if they did or not, but it looks like they may have actually taken the time to do the, the lip syncing Kagome. for the English version of the game, which is Kaede's nice. Village is just ahead. Come on now. You don't always see that with old games and old anime and stuff like that, you know? I'm a little scared, but I guess I should go. There might be someone that knows me there. Looks great, especially for the time it was released. Agreed, man. And like, yeah, the the 3D models, like I was saying, they look a little chibi-esque, you know, a little a little small and cutesy, but there's a strange smell. I think that demon's buddies are around. But all of the pre-rendered forest and background and whatnot all looks really good. Definitely makes up for it. What? The smell of demons is coming from that purple light. There's some purple haze, man. What should I do? Not weird at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's go after him. It should be easy if you use the red light again. Hey, here they come. Alright, so we just gotta walk into it, get our battle tutorial real quick. Teach us how to fight, man. Come on. Let's go. The real meat and potato of the games now. <laughs> now, I mean, it's a, from what I remember, it's a fairly bog standard JRPG style combat system i guess we'll find out here in just a moment all right looks like we got our turn order up in the top right that's nice helps make uh, strategizing a little bit easier so we got battle that should just be our regular attacks tech what's tech do we got normal special and co-op so co-op is something that we can do together not mastered can we still do it though nope okay that's fair then we got special, I think this stands for. Don't know how to do that. Normal tech? Don't know how to do any of that either, man. <laughs> Alright, and then uh, we got items, of course, and then we can defend and run away. 
The animations on the menu are a little bit annoying just because it makes everything take longer. Not the end of the world, I guess. Well, uh, we'll attack the bad luck bat. Just give him a little, give him a little slap real quick. Oh, look at that. Look at that nice punch we just gave him, man. Pretty sure we just punched the air more than anything, but, you know. What does, uh, Mr. Inuyasha know? Nothing? Must be pretty early in the storyline here, man. He can't even, uh, doesn't know a single technique. Just, uh, <laughs> just smacking stuff with the sword. That's all he can do. All right. All right, fine. <laughs> It's weird, uh, the overworld looks nicer than the the uh, battle arena here. Normally in games I would expect to kind of see the opposite, you know? Since the, the battle arenas are all like just small sections of the world. Normally, in my experience, at least to my memory, normally they're uh, laid out a little bit better. A little bit higher poly, a little bit cleaner textures, but... Not in this case. It looks like it's basically using the same 3D models that it did for the overworld. All those guys put together don't stand a chance against me. Oh yeah. Hey, we got a nice level up. Very cool. Michulu got eight experience points and seventy-seven money. Nuyasha learned Iron Reaver SS. Hey, you got some wings to make? Heck yeah, man. I ended up making chicken Alfredo. Rue we talking about it the other day. I just couldn't I couldn't. I had to. <laughs> Nothing special, though. We just got a jar of Alfredo sauce and then uh, jizzed it up a little bit with some uh, brown butter, some garlic, uh, some chicken, spices, and all that stuff. And uh, just to uh, give it a little bit of our own personal flair and poured that over some noodles with some, hey, like I said, some chicken. Move again? Ended up being pretty good. I'm not complaining at all. You're lame. And a little bit of uh, chicken do. Alfredo, just mm, it hit the spot. I just finished it up today. That move came from his subconscious. He was so afraid to die. And then I uh, tonight we do pizza almost every Friday. So tonight I had pizza, and ah, uh, delicious, man. We used the leftover Alfredo sauce because we didn't end up using it all for the pound of pasta that we cook. End up using the leftovers to dip the crust in. Excellent dipping sauce. <laughs> My name is Mioga. If you've never tried it before, next time you make a uh, chicken alfredo or have some chicken alfredo, highly suggest just a little bit of low sodium soy sauce. I prefer the low sodium in it at least because I feel like soy or uh, chicken alfredo is usually already a little bit salty, not like in a bad way, but like it's already got a decent enough salt level. So I just put a little bit of low sodium on it for the for the flavor for the umami. Oh man, it's so good! It's so good! I love it. I can still smell the demons too. What or I just do? fry up a crap ton of mushrooms and dump down in there. That'll give you the umami as well. But <laughs> gonna do ranch, mild and barbecue ones. That you got boneless bar garlic parm ones for Sierra because she doesn't do any of the other sauces. What? I. That's disappointing. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I really like garlic parmesan wings. But how can't you do, like, uh, ranch or barbecue or anything like that? Well, I don't need a whole lot of barbecue wings just because it's usually uh, high in sugar, and I try not to eat that much sugar. But I, I love ranch wings. I love mild and hot wings. Buffalo, obviously, I went on and on about that during the 12-hour stream. Like, <laughs> Okay. All right, so we're just talking about uh, we need to level up, basically. That's, that's, what, <laughs> that's what all of that conversation was about. So the battles look like they're not 100% random. I, I remember very little about this game. There's these uh, these these clouds of smoke. It looks like we have to run into that to get into battles. And generally speaking, whenever I play RPG games, I like doing a lot of the battles so that we can stay at a pretty reasonable level. So I'm gonna run into a lot of them most likely. You won't get your revenge. See what we're fighting, some sort of ghost thingy. What the hell is that right. called? Can we see its name? Maybe whenever we target it, just ghost. Okay, I mean, hey, that works. Oh, we should have tried the technique. We ended up unlocking one. Should have gave it a try. I noticed whenever he attacked there, he got a little uh, white orb thing underneath Inuyasha's portrait. Maybe we can do some sort of special technique or something like that. So I don't remember. It's been a long time. Hey, we leveled up. Got four experience points and 38 money. Soy, she doesn't do condiments in general. Sadly, really? What? That's crazy. I love condiments, man. Ketchup, ranch, just all of it. I love all of it. <laughs> Especially like uh, for tater tots or like french fries or anything like that. 
a little bit of uh, open pit barbecue sauce is really good. Or uh, I like to take some ketchup and put extra vinegar in it with a, just a pinch of salt. Stir all that up. It's probably, that's one of my favorite ways to eat like french fries and, and tater tots and all that. Just cover that in it. Oh man. Or cover them in it. Whatever. So good. I love it. I love condiments though. I also have a problem with eating like dry food. I have trouble swallowing it. So uh, condiments are... are Possibly literally, but more figuratively, a, uh, a lifesaver for me, man. Anytime I eat like a sandwich or a burger or anything like that, I gotta make sure to put a decent amount of ketchup or mayonnaise or something on it. Just to moisten it up, make it a little bit easier to swallow. Vinegar, ketchup, and worse, or wor uh, the W word. <laughs> I will have to try that. I've never tried putting Worcestershire sauce down in it before, but I love Worcestershire sauce. It's that same umami thing. You know, soy, Worcestershire, mushrooms, they all have MSG in it. Natural MSGs in it. And, uh, yeah. No, I would definitely, next time I do fries or tater tots, I'll put a couple, uh, shakes of Worcestershire down in there and try it out. So, alright, so we got the Iron Reaver. Uh, attacks one enemy with sharp claws and it consumes no energy. So I see no reason not to do it. I guess other than the fact that it takes up a lot of extra time for the animation, so there's that. <laughs> it's awesome to as a kid and has been at it since. Very cool, man. Yeah, like I said, I'll definitely try it out again. Or try it out here soon. Next time I have a potato thing again, I guess is what I was trying to say. Like, uh, I would love to get some more tater toss soon anyways. So maybe next time I get tater toss, or here soon I'll get tater toss and I'll try mixing that into my usual mix. What kind of vinegar do you usually use? If you say white vinegar, we can't be friends. <laughs> nah, I'm, I, I'm being, I'm being a little mean there. It's a uh, white vinegar has its place. It's uh, called dumping on a rag to clean stuff with, or uh, soak your dishes in it, or whatever. It's, <laughs> I just don't like white vinegar. It's like it's so flavorless, you know. It's just so bland and basic. Malt, malt's good. Malt's not my f well. No, I actually like malt a fair bit. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, like, red wine vinegar, or, well, not even so much red wine vinegar, that's okay, I guess, hey, hey, but, like, uh, Mr. Noodle really likes, oh, Mr. Noodle, if you're still here, help me out, what's that vinegar that you really like? It's, like, sweet, so I'm not a huge fan of it, because I'm not a big sweets person, at least with my savory stuff. Balsamic, that's it, yeah, balsamic vinegar, that's the one she really likes to use, and like, it's fine, I guess. I, I, I've i tried it before on stuff, and it's... I can eat it, but I, I don't think I would ever choose that one, you know? I've been using white wine vinegar a lot. Not because it's necessarily my favorite, but because that's what I, I keep around most of the time for cooking and whatnot. I find it to be a really nice... Uh, uh, it complements a lot of different things, right? It goes very well with a, a bunch of different foods, so... Trying to rap and watch friends not talk about vinegar. <laughs> Why not? What else is there to talk about but vinegar? Vinegar is like the best topic of conversation. You love balsamic vinegar? And you know what? I, I only feel a tiny bit less about you because of that. <laughs> now, like I said, it's okay. Balsamic's fine. Just, it's not for me. Too sweet. I, I know a lot of people like it on salads and stuff, and partially for that reason, because it's a, a, as far as the vinegariness of it goes, it's a little, uh, it's a little more mild, and then obviously it has the, the, the sweetness to it. So a lot of people like it on salads, it seems, but not my favorite. My favorite for a long time was apple cider vinegar, but, uh, ever since I started having issues eating apples, I haven't really been eating apple cider. I want to get tested and make sure it's just a... I'm pretty sure it's a fructose intolerance is what it is because apples just happen to be really high in fructose. And since I eat very low sugar, it makes it harder to digest and process fructose. So I think that's what the issue is. Um, but I, I've stopped eating apple cider vinegar too just in case it's an allergy. I don't think it is, but just in case. McDonald fries are really, really good drenched in the balsamic vinaigrette they have. I mean, you're wrong, but you can say that if you want. 
Also a piece of grilled chicken breast. A lot of people, Mr. Noodle's one of them, really like... Like, Italian dressing all over chicken and stuff like that. I'm not a huge fan of chicken and Italian dressing together. And, and in that same regard, I guess, vinegar. Uh, even though, like, I say that, but I put a crap ton of vinegar... Uh, well, hot sauce, which the hot sauce I use is essentially vinegar, all over chicken wings, so, you know. And I literally put Italian dressing in my chicken sauce, so chicken wing sauce too. So, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know, man. Had it on pizza, it was great. You would balsamic vinegar or vinegar on pizza. That sounds a little weird to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't try it, but it sounds weird to me. Balsamic vinegar on pizza. That's like, I don't know. That sounds like like pineapple on pizza to me or something. You know. Where it's got the tang, but then it's also sweet. But I also don't like pineapple on pizza, so... <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't think that's going to be one for me personally. Finally, we've arrived. This is Kaede's village. It can't be... a horse? Why couldn't... I know Inuyasha isn't the most social of people. But he could have explained at least a little bit to this kid what's going on, you know? Weird hairstyles? Kimonos and horses? Is this really Japan? Nah, man. You're in uh, America now. We just, uh, in a renaissance fair in America, obviously. What are you thinking about? If you don't hurry, I'll leave you behind. What's a Pizza Hut thing? You got it for free? I was hesitant, but hey, free lunch. and end up being great. Wait, what? <laughs> like, they had a pizza just with balsamic vinegar on it? As an option, or or it's like a promotion or something. That's weird. I've never heard of that before. Again, especially if it was free, I would definitely eat it. Don't get me wrong, or at least try it. But oh, okay, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah, I remember when they they did the drizzles. Now I forgot all about that because they used to have like buffalo sauce drizzle and different stuff uh, available too. They don't do any of that anymore though. They don't even do crust flavors anymore. I loved getting, I always got the hot favorite or whatever seasoning on my crust whenever it'd be baked. And now that's, there's no options for that at all as far as I can tell. The last couple times I ordered pizza. About those little demons. I already took care of them. It's upsetting. They still seem to put like a little bit of Parmesan or something on it. So it's not completely plain, but I liked my hot favorite. A little bit of butter, garlic, Parmesan all mixed together, throw it on there. This kid was being chased by one of the small demons. So I stepped in. Oh, great. It's still Where really I? good. The crust, yeah, I mean, it's fine, but it's not not as good. There's horses and weird hairstyles and even demons. Oh, I, I forgot you even worked there, Nate. <laughs> 2015, six years ago. Holy crap. Stop being a complainer. Stop talking about terrible things that there are to complain about. <laughs> like balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> or not vinaigrette. I guess just vinegar. Sorry. Or is it vinaigrette? Maybe it's balsamic vinaigrette we have, and maybe that's why it's so sweet. I don't know. Understandable, but please calm down. I am Kagome Higarashi. I'm in ninth grade, and this is Inuyasha. I'm pretty sure you freaked out a little bit too, Kagome, whenever you first got here. So. And why would you call it the present? Why wouldn't you just call it like 2000 or whatever year it was? Yes, I fell through a hole in the storage house. All of a sudden, I was in the woods. They're just making things more complicated for this poor kid, like... I see. You tried a lot of things you normally wouldn't wear there because, hey, it's free and you work here, so... <laughs> you're broke. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't blame you at all. Whenever I worked at McDonald's, that's how it was, too. We were always experimenting with things, like taking some of the, uh... The wraps for back when they sold wraps, putting a bunch of cheese and maybe some meat or onions or something on it, throwing it on the grill and making like little uh, quesadilla style things at McDonald's. Or something I really got addicted to there was uh, you would take a chicken nugget and then you would cover it in the ranch sauce used specifically for the sandwiches, not the like ranch packets that they would give you or the ranch dipping cups because like all that ranch is different. You would cover it in the sauce, the, the sandwich sauce ranch. And then just put a single pickle on top of it. Right. Oh man, delicious! It is so freaking good. Like, honestly, probably the best way to eat nuggets. 
thank you. I'm really glad you're here. I don't oh, me too, B. Just a minute ago, you were bawling, and now you got all sweet. Same for us. the barbecue at Burger King. You'll have to explain more. Like, <laughs> you mean the the barbecue was different that they had put on the sandwiches than the stuff they would give you, or or do you mean that the barbecue is just really good on the nugs? Like, don't be rude. You'd be bawling too if you had to go yep. through all that. I'm assuming you were saying yep to my first uh <laughs> thing there. <laughs> that it's different. The sandwich barbecue is different. Different from the packets, yeah, okay. I, I figure that's what you meant, but Me? Always mad? Yeah, right. See, you're mad uh Inu Yasha is never mad. <laughs> always forget that his name is Inu Yasha. I always want to say Inu Yasha. But you know, he's half dog, so Inu, because Japanese for dog. You're so. <laughs> the one that's so touchy. You're always losing your temper. Angry sauce, man. You missed that sauce. What's the angry sauce? Really I don't remember. Huh. What? Explain. Hey, what are you saying? Who does she think she is? Oh, stop it! Don't be shy. Never mind. Don't you need to go back to the well? Why? Don't you want to go back? Ah, seems pretty cool here, man. I'll just chill and get eaten by random blue man. <laughs> the blue man group. I'm gonna get eaten by the blue man group if I stay here, man. That's how I got here. You mean you may be able to go back if you pass through there. Wow, really? Please, take me there. Okay. What a loser. Wants to leave already, just got here. You wanna explore a little bit? Like look, after the initial shock and horror Faded of mystically being transported to a land that you've never seen or know anything of wouldn't you want to explore like especially if you knew there's a way to travel safely between the two like man there's no way that i would be able to just like you know what i don't want to explore feudal japan i just want to go back home to my boring life in middle school or high school or whatever like nah no way all right so there's some items we can buy we have a little bit of money but we got medicinal herbs that's obvious antidotes obvious Silver Bell wakes us up. Sacred Tree Dew recovers battle inability. I'm assuming that's a poor translation for, hey, if you're dead, this brings you back to life. And then Bracken is a even worse healing item. Although, 25, 70. So wouldn't it technically be cheaper to do, like, because if you bought three of those, that'd be 75 for 60. So I guess out of battle would be make more sense to heal with a couple Brackens than it would a single medicinal herb or whatever. But we're not going to worry about buying any of this stuff right this second. Let's figure out uh, figure out what else is going on. It's a limited time for Angry Whopper that had jalapenos in it. Awesome spicy sauce with a slight sweet kick. I don't even remember the Angry Whopper, man. That's how bad it is. Like, <laughs> I love Whoppers, though. That's probably my favorite single fast food sandwich. Even though the onions that... Burger King always make my stomach sick and I'm just like burping up onions for a whole day afterwards But the sandwiches are so good Whopper with cheese with a little bit of extra uh, sauce on it. Just ketchup and mayo or whatever. Oh, man delicious Old lady whatever, but can't they sell their stuff for cheaper for old people like us? We can't usually get what we want because we don't make enough money. That's rough, man. I'm sorry. The Bone Eater's Well, you don't know where that is? I guess I'll tell you. <laughs> at the end of the field, turn at the corner and go straight. Don't forget now. All right, so go this way. Is that what you were saying, kid? <laughs> it hasn't been there since 2019? Holy crap. Well, yeah, that's why I don't remember. I hardly remember yesterday, man. I can't remember 2019. It's all because of Kaede that the village people can live peacefully. Cool, cool. I love onions, like, in general. I, I love them fried. I love them on raw on sandwiches and stuff like that. Um, but, and even their onions, it tastes good while I'm eating it, but then it just upsets my stomach every single time without fail. It's rough. But it's totally worth it because the sandwiches are just so dang good. Like, <laughs> Jeez, how many times does that guy have to eat before he'll be satisfied? How are you gonna complain about him like that? Food isn't ready yet? All right, never mind. I, I forgive you now. I understand. I'd be annoyed with that guy too. <laughs> you like him on sandwiches, but you like him raw and super crisp. I love like caramelized onions, but not with any added sugar or anything. I don't think they need any extra sweetness. Like onions are actually already 
have plenty of sugar in them. You just can't really taste them most of the time over all of the, the sulfur and and the, not astringency, but just the, the heavy taste of onion. But, like, once you cook them and get rid of some of that sulfuric type taste and whatnot, it's, ah, uh, onions are so good, man, just on their own. Super sweet. Hey, you think we had this game? Did we? I honestly don't remember. I remember playing it a few times, but never finishing it. And I've always wanted to finish it. I think, I think maybe we just rented it a couple times, but maybe we did own it. I don't know, man. From the map screen, you push the triangle button, you can log your journey. It's very useful if you log your journey diligently. Cool, cool. Oh, you think our other brother had it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. My dad told me that there have been a lot of ghosts around lately. Pretty sure he liked Inuyasha. E. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure he probably did. It's, it's a ball and show, dude. What? I'm thinking about very important matters. Don't disturb me. Well, you're a dick, aren't you? And that would explain how I played it. remember playing it a few times, but never finished it. Because I probably just borrowed it from him or some shit. You're asking where you came from? I know, of course. You came from your mother's womb! Ah, gotcha! <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> You're on that One Piece grind? There's no way, man. One Piece is way too long. It's way too long. And I'm, I don't know for sure, but just judging off of how long it is, I'm thinking that it's probably like 90% filler. Nate would probably know. <laughs> he's watched a lot of anime. I don't know if, you've, uh, if he's ever watched One Piece, but... Yeah, like 1,008 episodes or something. Yeah, and what, like 700 of them are filler? Like, <laughs> the present, what is that? It's so hard to understand young people these days. Go away. What a dick. And you would think with how long, like, Kagome's been here and how many times she saved these people's ass, they would know a little bit about the present and where she came from and everything. But I guess they just don't care. Like, where have you been until now? Oh, guess. I'm sorry. I thought my children had come home. They've probably gone to the well again. I keep telling them not to. Probably, you know, they're broken into art. It's probably similar to Dragon Ball Z. I mean, as long as it's not too, too filler heavy. Because, like, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z obviously had some filler, you know? And that's okay. I don't mind a little bit of filler. It's a nice way to show the heroes just being normal people. But some shows, like uh, Naruto, for instance, have so much freaking filler, man, that it's just unreal. Or what was the the other one? There's one that I really like. The uh, the main character's name is Ichigo. Ah, I can't remember the name of the freaking show. It's really good. If Nate's still here, he'd probably know the name of it too. But <laughs> anyways, point is, it has like whole seasons of just filler, man. And it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, there's no reason for that. The show's so good and it makes you want to watch it and then you get to a season that's just nothing important at all. God's sakes, it's at a thousand, it's Bleach. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Bleach, that's the one. Super good show, man. It's so good, I love the premise behind it. The battle scenes are amazing, the transformations, the powers, uh, some awesome characters, I love it. But then you just get to entire seasons of nothing but filler and it's it just makes it hard to get through. You're rapping, not making eyes? Well, I'm sorry, you told me to remind you, so I said a reminder text, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> you ask, why do I protect the fields? Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. This field is called the Mysterious Field. There's a legend that says there's a special power in these fields. Sometimes a mysterious crop will grow, depending on the combination of seed and fertilizer. Huh? You don't believe me? Well then, when you find a seed and some fertilizer, bring it over here. I will grow it for you, and you can see for yourself if the legend is true or not. How am I supposed to do that when my ass is leaving town? You're busy? Well, don't be mad at me, Mr. Noodle, if you end up forgetting to make the ice, because <laughs> I'm probably not going to remember to tell you. I'd, it took me a minute to even know why the hell you were yelling at me about it. And then I remember that I sent the ske or scheduled a text to be sent to you at 1230. <laughs> There's a mysterious legend that comes from those fields. What kind of legend? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> hmm. Yes, so mysterious, I can't even tell you about it. Very good. Very good. Lol. <laughs> This is my favorite place to take a walk. It's my favorite thing to reminisce about my life while I'm walking. Being sentimental is my hobby. Is it just my imagination that when I take a deep breath of crisp forest air, you feel so much better? Nah, man. It's good for you. You think you only have four left? Then you're almost there, Mr. Noodle. I believe in you. This you got this, love. Well. It looks really old. 
Almost like demons could come out of it. Yeah, it does. Well, they used to toss dead demons into it. Take a break. Like, if it's actually hurting you, Mr. Noodle, then just take a break. There's no reason to hurt yourself over it. Hey, don't say that. You're gonna scare them. Or I can finish the them up for you. Dead anyway. They probably won't be wrapped as nice, but like... <laughs> you know what I mean, Inuyasha. You're so insensitive. <laughs> it's your job, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry for trying to help, love. That's okay. So, do I go in from here? Yeah, if you jump in, it should take you right back to the present. Jump in? Yeah, just jump right down a well, ma'am. Just trust these two random people you've never met before. And jump into a, a, a deep well. Home. That's the worst that could happen. Of? It's not like you're going to break your neck or get stabbed by one of the many bones at the bottom of it. <laughs> Here I go. One... Two. <laughs> Three, right? Just huh? push him in. Just force him down the well. Screw you, kid. <laughs> hey, Mr. Noodle with another five bit cheer. Thank you, love. Appreciate you. Just wrapped all the books and found matching stickers for the paper. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. Inuyasha, what did you do that for? Are you okay? What a dick. No, he just pushed me down a well, dude. I think I broke my neck down here. Pretty sure I can't move my legs anymore. <laughs> this is how the story ends. It's actually game over now, guys. It's a pretty short game. Uh, but, you know, I'd suggest trying it out. Why not? You gotta do, like, four or five battle sequences. I made it to level two before I died, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. They said it's okay. I go to help and then have to tell myself no because I'm terrible at rapping. <laughs> yeah. I don't think That's, so. Like, if I really take the time for it, I can do it reasonably well. But I just don't have the the patience or really the care for it. Like you're just gonna rip it open anyways. What's it care or what's it matter what it looks like? You know. That's why I pretty much just always do bags. Like. I think he's all right. No, Optijack's like the best rapper ever, man. <laughs> Over here challenging Eminem and shit. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen you actually you rap a uh, for, present, Optijack. I couldn't help it. <laughs> what if he got hurt? Damn hurt. My leg's broken. Shut I can't up. move. I was just helping out. You meant that in a non PG 13 way? It's okay. I go to help and I tell myself no because I'm terrible at rapping. Oh. Because <laughs> you got two kids. <laughs> but claim that uh, that you always rap it before you, before you do your what? thing. How's that? <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Mm. Imagine that. Can you stop fighting and help me? Yeah, you did. At least with the first child. I don't know. Maybe with your second kid you didn't, but yeah. Well, obviously you lied, man. If you put one on properly, then how the hell did you have two kids? Like, <laughs> If you have two kids and we're actually properly wrapping it, I'd be suing some people, but... Yeah, no more kids. We can't afford to keep buying y'all presents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, our sister especially. <laughs> Obviously, she poked holes. <laughs> You're freaking terrible, man. You just end up handing it over with you without the wrapping it. I just do bags. I just, I just, or do you mean the thing that Optijack's talking about? <laughs> but no, I just, uh, I always just put presents in bags with some paper. That's Don't good enough worry. for me, man. I'm sure there's another way. Still, you still get the excitement of opening it and everything, but you don't have to deal with tearing up paper and all the stupid wrapping. Yeah, you're good with two. You'll have a stroke if there's any more. Okay. <laughs> I feel like at one point you were talking about maybe having three, but I don't know. Well, you meant both. Who's <laughs> Kaede? Uh, She's the Kaede? worst person in this village. She's a princess oh, heck no. and she knows a lot. Or maybe, maybe it was, were you saying if you had uh, two girls, you were going to try for a third to get a boy? Maybe that's what you were telling me. I don't remember. But she's always nagging me. Only because you're always getting into trouble. Well, I don't really understand. But she doesn't sound like a bad person. I'd like to meet her. Thank God you had a boy if that's true. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we love your children and all of uh, our sister's children, but... 
There's just there's too many children. There's just too many men. I mean, two is not that bad. I'm okay with two. I, I'm a firm believer in the we have too many people in the world. So having more than two children is kind of ridiculous. And she's up to what now? Like five? <laughs> no, four. Four, right? That's just that's too many. Oh, maybe, but I think I would have realized that was a bad idea once the second one came out. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go. She lives on the west side of the village square. Four and a step, yeah. Yeah. So, four or five, however you want to count it. All right, we are going to, it has been way over a half hour. We are going to go ahead and take a short break while I stretch and grab a drink. And then, of course, for anybody that is subscribed, you won't see the ads. So we'll just sit here and BS for a minute or two. Be right back, everyone. Oh, let me stretch real quick, and then I'll catch up with all you guys' messages. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is we've all almost burned our houses down at one point or another. <laughs> And Mr. Noodle, ever since you brought that ice cream up, I've been wanting ice cream. As soon as I'm done streaming, I'm going to have to come down there and get some ice cream. So if you want any of it, you should probably eat it before I eat it all. <laughs> I don't think I've ever left the stove on before. Not that I can think of. Four and a set. Friend's husband said everything was good with one and then everything broke when the second came. Oh, I can, I can imagine. I don't know which friend you're talking about. You probably shouldn't use real names here, but, you know. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> One child, maybe. Two children? Mm, that's pushing it. More than two? Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> You're number one of four children? I mean, yeah, so... Like, directly related, there's only... Three... I mean, technically four. Because my dad had at least one other kid, but I've never met her. So, like, I don't really know about that. But my mom's side, there's, there's me, my sister, and my brother that are directly related, but there were two more of us as well, you know, step, but basically brothers, the, uh, basically full brothers, I mean, definitely my brothers, because I've known them since I was like five, six years old or something like that, so really there was like five of us, so I feel it, and it's uh, it's too many, <laughs> it's just it's just entirely too many, <laughs> we need to we need to call off uh, uh, one or two of them, <laughs> uh, your sister was a kidney stone? Yeah. Your mom thought she was uh, just a kidney stone until she popped out a child. Like I never understood how people can be pregnant for months with a child or whatever and then like go eight months and then finally realize one day whenever their water's breaking or whatever, like, hey, maybe I'm pregnant or <laughs> like, how does that even work? It was only a couple weeks or so. I mean, that's not as bad, but... You hear stories about that, right? People going literal months without having a period and never thinking anything of it or their stomach growing. And they're just like, yeah, it's whatever. You know, it's crazy. Your mom wasn't supposed to be able to technically, technically your twin. Then she had three more. What? How are you technically a twin? Was it like one of those things where two embryos formed, but then one of them didn't, uh, uh, like was absorbed or wasn't viable or something like that? That sort of deal. Yeah, that's wild. People shooting their kids out into the toilet. <laughs> what? Like, seriously, though. I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. We're going to get back into the game here now. Sitting here, BS. I could just sit here and BS for the entire time we're supposed to be playing the game. But, <laughs> but like, for real, though, no joking aside, I just, I don't understand it. That was literally a thing you heard about on TLC. I'm half convinced that all of the BS on TLC is just fake. Like, they just pay people to make up stories and tell them on TV as if they're true. It's like, there's no way, man. There's no way you went nine months without a period, your stomach growing, all the other body changes, mood swings, all that BS, and then just one day you're sitting on the toilet taking a dump or having to pee or whatever, and a child just pops out. Like, I don't... I don't get it. 
she went in for pain found out she was pregnant while getting told she had a kidney stone she's all supposed to be a motorcycle <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're probably confusing a lot of people <laughs> mr noodle <laughs> like i know the story but <laughs> your twin was most likely a zora there was two of everything but a body i got you i got you yep yeah you hear about that stuff all the time it's uh i don't know how common it actually is but i feel like it's not that uncommon for for twins for one to be absorbed or whatever you just flush <laughs> i mean i've never i've never popped a child out or anything but uh, i'm pretty sure they're a little bit bigger than uh than your dookie that you're having there boy <laughs> like, I just i don't think i don't think it quite works that way you don't know man <laughs> <laughs> Couple of flushes might work then? No. No, there's no way. Y'all are terrible people, too. I just want you to know this. <laughs> You've never weighed them, but you think it might be close? Man, man if, you're, if you're taking that big of dumps, I think you might need to, uh... You might need to see a doctor or something like that. You popping out, like, how big's a child's head? Like, six, seven, six inches or something like that, right? Like, six to eight inches? Around? <laughs> like... That might be a little bit on the large side, but still. <laughs> I like to think they were like, I'll take one for the team. You got this. What? I don't know. Huge. Y'all, y'all messed up, man. <laughs> Your kids have big heads. I mean, that's true, but like how big were they when they were born? Do you know? So I don't know. For some reason, I feel like six to eight is a, is a normal size, but I don't know. Fat and huge, that was the that was the size of your kids' heads. <laughs> You're so nice to your children, man. <laughs> now someday they're gonna be teenagers and be like, oh, I wonder what my uncle did whenever he was in his twenties with his life and find this YouTube channel and just see you calling them fat and huge. <laughs> <laughs> your message was in reply to Mr. Noodle asking if you ate them. Okay, okay. I'll, you're you're excused from this, Nate. You're not being as bad as the rest of them here. <laughs> They'll agree if they see their baby photos. I still though, I don't know. So what's your name? My name is. I can't say that because the player can change it. That's why I like when games use nicknames for their characters so that they can still voice act it. You leave your beautiful children alone. They're so cute. You do have some really cute kids. Gotta give you that, man. I don't know how. Obviously, they get their looks from their mother. <laughs> I'm a respectable adult. Yeah, okay. Smart Alec. What did you say, Inuyasha? Always tell your kids they have your big head. <laughs> Look, if I remember though, Optijack, you had a pretty big head as a kid too, man. So I guess it's just in your genes. Although you were a scrawny little thing though. You weren't that big of a kid, but you had a big old head. You still do? Yeah, but I mean, you grew into it a bit though. <laughs> They do that in your big ass nose. <laughs> uh. Hey, what was that? Wow, could go. We've never beat him. Well, I mean, I never beat him. At least I can't speak for the other two. They were kind of dicks sometimes. <laughs> this is the power. Of One size fits all hats are super tight on you for a while. Come on. I wouldn't even know what size hat I wear, or if a one size fits all hat wear or fits. I never really cared for him. What's happened, Inuyasha? Kagome and Shippo, too? Oh, who are you? Uh, hello. From the look of your clothes, I guess you I'm came from convinced at this point this kid just doesn't know how to say his own name, since he never says it. Like, again, I, I understand why they don't actually say it, but it just <laughs> it seems weird. No Everything's voice acted, you. except for every time this guy tries to introduce himself. Was looking for something in the They're store. still tight for you, well, Nate. I blacked out. Hmm. Like I said, I haven't tried to wear a hat in probably six years. No, more than that. Six. Sometimes I forget that I'm like 
you know, <laughs> old. <laughs> I'd like to go home. Can you please tell me how to... Hmm, you want to go home. I thought you were Kagome's friend. Does Optijack even know what Grogu is? It seems like a difficult situation. Tell me your story from the beginning. And also, Optijack, I'm not trying to implicate you or anything, but weren't you supposed to be at work tonight, man? Like, you can plea the fifth if you like, but... <laughs> so, that's what happened. Ah, oh, you do know what uh, Grogu is, Baby Yoda? The well didn't work. Well? The bone eaters well? Yes, I just fell straight to the bottom. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Probably for the best. I see. Do you know why I can't get through? You're feeling better at least though now, right? Optijack? Personally like the name Lil Yodi. Hmm. Still having a little bit of trouble breathing when you're up and moving. That sucks, man. I mean I'm glad that you're you're feeling better otherwise, but Hopefully uh that goes away for you relatively soon. You got your taste and smell and everything back. Mostly. That's good. That's good. Yeah. You mean I can't get home? No. Dad. Still a bit muted, it seems. You can try the whole... I'm not going to tell you to burn an orange, because so I think that's stupid. But you can try the whole... You can, like, go buy essential oils and whatnot, and then just sniff them, basically. Like, just open up the top of it and take deep breaths of them and whatnot. It's supposed to, like... I don't know how it's supposed to work exactly, but it's something to do with, like, shocking the the s smell receptors in your nose <laughs> essentially like just training them to start firing again and building pathways and whatnot what? dealing with kids all day you're glad you can't smell all that well <laughs> uh, what they get them uh, big old dookies from you too man they dropping out little clones of themselves or something <laughs> It's one of the symptoms Stop you're dealing with, breathing. Fighting. Your fiance taste and stuff is still up. Being nice we were lucky whenever we had COVID, home. Mr. Noodle and I. Our uh, taste and smell if came back relatively home, quick. Mine only team. actually went away for like four or five days. Um, like it was around the fourth or fifth day that I started to get it back. And then I had it fully back a few days after that. Mr. Noodle's I think was a couple days longer than mine, but... Still, not not super long compared to some people, you know. Some people have gone months without it. What else? I guess it won't get anywhere by being upset. You can be upset. So the story, if anybody's been following along at all, is basically this kid is uh, made it to feudal Japan and now can't leave, and nobody knows why. As long as you get it. That's pretty much all we've missed. Like, you <laughs> know, Yasha has been a dick the whole time. Gomei's trying to help, but can't really do anything. <laughs> that's that's the entire story that we've covered in the past uh, hour of playing this game. What? <laughs> now that's going a little too far. Yeah, man, you're like two months away from it. And now I'm messed up with like m pneumonia, dude. That sucks, man. See, I didn't get any breathing troubles that I remember at all. I had a tiny bit of a cough though, but just tiny. Then I did get like the headaches and tired and whatnot, but it really wasn't bad for me. I, I really lucked out with it. So what? If something should happen, it would be better if you were together. This is so Does the game follow the anime or manga's plot? Nope. Not that I remember. As far as I'm aware, it's a whole whole separate thing. Because I don't... As far as I remember, again, I could be wrong. Because I didn't actually watch the entire series. I definitely missed pieces of it. But I don't think another kid ever found their way into the this world. Let's go listen to the village gossip. Maybe we'll find a clue from something we hear. Okay. I don't even know if the lore in this would be considered canon or if it would be just, you know, like the Dragon Ball movies, just a, a fun little side thing. You've only seen a few episodes of the anime. You remember when you were little, being on in the middle of the night was probably Toonami. Yeah, Toonami or Adult Swim or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I watched it whenever it was on all the time, but I, I you know, back then you couldn't just... You didn't have on-demand or, or streaming services or anything, so if you missed a week, then you missed a week. Like, that was that. We're not getting anywhere by just standing and then to make the matters way. worse, it was usually, like, reruns that I was watching, because I'm pretty sure 
by the time I was old enough to be like up that late watching TV, it was the series was probably already done. <laughs> like, because uh, Inuyasha is actually a bit of an older anime, if I remember correctly. Like, it's not super bad, but it definitely heightened the damage from the pneumonia or something. Yeah, you think uh, the only can is Kagome was the only one, or in canon Kagome was the only one? Yeah, I I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Hey, uh, oh, Nate, you don't have a PC right at the moment. Never mind, man. I was gonna say, you need to get, uh, uh, Tricky Towers. Me and Octajack were playing that last night for a little bit, and, man, it was, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's like late 90s, you think? Maybe early 2000? English dub is probably mid 2000? Oh, okay, so. There's a chance that I actually saw some new episodes whenever they were coming out, but it was probably reruns. Because, you know, early mid 2000s, I would have been like maybe 10 years old, so. But I can't remember where that was now. I was frantically trying to run away at the time. What a scaredy cat. Alright. Is there a run button? I don't actually know. Circle, uh, no, circle's a walk button, so there's that. But start, start does nothing, select does nothing. Oh, we got, we got dual shock, man. We got analog controls. How fancy. You'll have it back next month, hopefully, closer to the beginning. That's awesome, man. Yeah, if you do, I, I highly suggest Tricky Towers. Um, it's, it's a ton of fun. Ton of fun, man. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make a, a game save, because we haven't had one yet at all. You asked Demon Lord to play Tricky Towers with us? Can we stream local with all three of us? I don't know, but I'm down to try at some point. I have a couple things I have to take care of tonight, sadly, but tomorrow night, Optijack, if, uh, if you're up and or if Demon Lord is up and wants to try it, I am 100% down to do so. Didn't mean to leave. I'm trying to move around on the, the map here. But yeah, Tricky Towers, Nate, if you don't know, it's it, it's basically just like a, a Tetris, but there's physics enabled with all of the blocks, and you can also do half steps with blocks. Um, but instead of trying to complete lines, you're trying to do different challenges. So like you might be trying to uh, race to the, to the finish line, right? Get to a certain point faster than anybody else. Um, or you may be trying to get as many blocks underneath a, a line a height line as possible um, but every time you you drop a block because again physics are enabled so every time you drop a block off the edge then the tower the whole tower raises a little bit so you can't drop pieces um, but you also can't stack them too high or you know you stop and you have to get as many pieces under that line as possible um, what was the other game mode there's another one all oh, survival where you're just trying to stack as many pieces as you can without losing any pieces if you lose three pieces then you're automatically out of the game and it's the last man standing and anytime you get to checkpoints for for your height uh you get different magical abilities so you might get one where like it wraps a couple of your pieces together to make them more stable or you might get one where it's just a permanent piece now and it can't fall or uh you'll get negatives for the other person like making their piece rotate around f randomly or turning the next five piece into ice or whatever. It's a crap ton of play. He's playing games with his brother tonight anyways. How rude of him, man. Doesn't want to play games with you? We need to have a talk with him. That sounds interesting. It is, and it's a ton of fun. It's available on PlayStation Now as well, so... But I don't think there's any sort of crossplay though. Like, I don't think we can play on PC with somebody on PlayStation Now or, or vice versa. It's too bad, but... Is what it is. My brother has always been interested in mysterious things, but he's also a real scaredy cat. Kind of just sneak up behind him. My dad said I can't come here, but I'm so interested in that well I couldn't help it. I don't, uh... I wasn't paying that much attention <laughs> to what we were supposed to be doing. They said something about villagers, so... I, there's probably someone we were supposed to find and talk to. <laughs> You think the 20 misses and Hunt Showdown turn away from wanting to play that? Yeah, so Demon Lord and Optijack were playing a, a multiplayer game Hunt. I don't know, Demon Lord may put up a video of it at some point. I guess we'll see. But he, uh, they got into a showdown, specifically Demon Lord and some random dude, and he just could not shoot him for the life of him. Like, 
It was a, and then Optijack was like dying laughing, and Demon Lord was just like pissed off, basically. Yes, we have, but I haven't seen anyone that looks like those bit. All I can think of is maybe the next village, a Kebby village. Oh, there's a village nearby. It could be the people. Is it Kebby village near here? Yes, it's there we go. Far, but... but what? But... Come on, Kagome, spit it out. Not demons. He's right. Demons come after you, even if you're only a little ways from the village. That's fine. I don't mind. I we can kick their ass. I, was chased by one too. I hope he keeps in the part where he beats his desk for 30 seconds straight and then had his grandma yelling at him. Bro, you didn't tell me that his, that his grandma or someone was yelling at him for beating on stuff. <laughs> that man needs to learn to control his anger problems a little bit. Like, honestly. You can be a little ridiculous sometimes. Demon Lord, if you ever see this, man, I love you, bro, but you <laughs> you got to get yourself under control, man. As long as I'm with you, you've got nothing to worry about from those demons. We all need to play Halo Infinite at some point. Maybe without Demon Lord, because his aimbot is just ridiculous. Like. <laughs> Shut up, shippo. And the fact, like, that's what had me laughing, because when we all played Halo Infinite together... He had like an 80, 90% freaking accuracy. Like it was ridiculous how good he was at, at, at hitting in that game, man. And then we he was playing Hunt Showdown, which is another shooter, and he 20 shots and I think he hit what twice? Like out of all of it, like it's ridiculous. That's one you wanna play? Halo Infinite, you mean, or Hunt Showdown? I'm, I think you mean Halo Infinite. It's a lot of fun, the multiplayer is at least. I don't know how I feel about the, the single player campaign. I haven't tried it, but you know. Yeah, that wasn't going on last night. <laughs> and Halo, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, if you get a PC, man, it's free, so download it. It's okay, Kagome. I'm not download it and uh, play, man. It's a crap ton of fun, the multiplayer modes. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Halo is the shooter you've always enjoyed. Okay. Uh, I mean, I've mentioned it so many times on stream at this point. The first couple Halos I love, uh, specifically the first one, but Halo 2 was fun too. And after that, it was just a little... I, I just... I didn't... I don't know, man. I, I guess I just kind of got tired of it a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't know if it was that I got tired of it so much, or if it's just because the story didn't capture me in the same way. Plus, I never really cared for Halo's online aspects before Halo Infinite. I only ever really played multiplayer locally, or, or LAN, or whatever, and I had a lot of fun with it that way. But, yeah. So, like, it told us to go to Akebe Village, or whatever, but I, I left to go to the world map and it won't let me do anything. So am I, am I missing something here? What am I, what am I missing? What am I doing wrong? Do I have to talk to the old lady? Old lady, tell me In what to do. Event, talk to, if you do, you're bound to. Talk to as many people as possible. If you do, you're bound to find your way to the right path. I mean, I've talked to everybody in this town, lady. There's a... Maybe we can go... No, I don't think so. Because, like, it's blocked off. I don't think we can go up here, right? To the temple or whatever is up there. I don't really remember. But I still do want to play through all the Halo games at some point. Like, all the campaigns. Probably starting with Halo 1 and, and then just playing through them all. Optijack and I had started doing that at one point. But we never, we never ended up finishing it, so... Okay, maybe I maybe I missed something here. Do I have to use the D-pad, not the analog stick? I'm pressing down. Down's not doing anything. Pressing right, nothing. Up, nothing. Left, nothing. R and L buttons, nothing. Triangle. Triangle let me save, but I don't need to save again. Go back. And logging travels, yeah. Yeah, see, I can't do anything. So I gotta it's gotta be something that I'm missing here. Yeah, you end up being Halo 1, you're on Halo 2 now. What? You did it without us, man? How rude. <laughs> did you do a uh, legendary run, or did you just do, like, standard difficulty or something? Took a break to finish Mafia 3. I've never played a single Mafia game. Have you played Mafia 1 and 2, or did you just go straight to 3? 
Oh, heck no, just standard? <laughs> Come on, man. You know you want to play that, uh... That legendary mode solo. All skulls. Like, come on. I was talking to a guy. I, I can't remember his name, but he comes in to my real job every now and then to just to BS with me. And he is telling me the different ways that he's beaten all the games on legendary with all the skulls. And just how ridiculous it is and that you basically have to use, like, glitches or exploits for, for a lot of the game to, to, to beat it. Because it's just, like, impossible otherwise, essentially. It's crazy, man. But obviously, people do it. I don't think I would ever have the patience for it, but there's a lot of fans of Halo out there. Okay, so y'all aren't saying anything new. Every time I leave town, I just get thrown in that world map and can't go anywhere. I doubt these guys are going to say anything new. It's all because of K-Day that the village is peaceful. That's just the dude that's eating in that house or whatever. I don't think we need to go there. What about this dude? You look like a traveler. You travel a lot because of your work, so you teach you the key points to traveling. If you're on the map screen, you push the triangle button, you can log your journey. It is very useful if you log your journey vigilantly. Yeah, that doesn't help me, man. I need to... <laughs> I need to know how to travel. Why can't I travel away from here? A lot of ghosts around lately. It's kind of scary, but we have Kaeda here, so everything will be okay. Okay... You're asking where you came from? I know, of course, you came from your brother's womb. Yeah, you told us. Haha, ha, very funny. Good joke, man. So glad you told it to us. What am I missing? Somebody please help me. <laughs> what, what am I doing wrong? The other day I tried to climb it again for old time's sake. The branch broke and you fell. I still feel like a child inside, but your body is most definitely not. Ooh. Oof. Big oof. Uh, that's just you looking for your children. I mean, I can't, like, walk through here, right? This is all just... Yeah. This is all... This is all freaking... Invisible walls. You love Mafia 1 and 2? Played the remade version of 1, though. Mafia 3 is fun, but they have some issues during its development, and a lot was cut. That's too bad whenever that happens, man. I hate whenever that happens. No great experience hampered by... Just either not having enough time, or switching engines halfway through, or, or whatever the case may be. End up playing out like Assassin's Creed 1. You go to a district, do very repetitive missions, and then kill a boss, rinse and repeat. That, that sucks, honestly. That's really rough to hear. Assassin's Creed... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I need to, to play the other ones. Because I've played through one. I did end up finishing one recently. and With the goal of finishing all of them. But I just can't... Can't bring myself to do it. Alright, I am going to have to Google why the heck I can't leave this village. <laughs> why can't I leave Kaede Village? Okay. Secret of the Cursed Mass number two. Nope, that's just a let's play. You're on a six-year journey with Assassin's Creed. Finally on Assassin's Creed Origins. What? Wow. Good for you, man. Good for you. I'm sure I've forgotten something somewhere, but I remember all the basics. All right. Game FAQs. Let's use that because I uh, I don't wow. see it just by searching it. Game FAQs. Inu. Yasha. Inu. Yasha. Secret of the Cursed Mask. You blow some straight oxygen on something, it will burn like crazy <laughs> have a little bit of experience with guide a, uh, guide and walk through rug, just like a slightly yep. shaggy rug okay oxygen that will go up quick man it flares party like update up. shippo joins up so, afterwards exit the hut for a scene and head back to the well for another scene now you're <laughs> off to try and find the villagers that were around when whoever woke yeah. up anyway return to the entrance for another scene your new destination is the village don't bother stocking up on herbs at the general store You'll be loaned a bandage. On the world map, save your game and move Kuru Rugi <laughs> over to the crescent shaped dar dot marked with road to Akebe and press X. What? We don't know where they are. What? It's telling me from the world map to just move, basically. Can be rough. You like the series, but my god, it's not one to play back to back like that. It's really, really not, man. Like, seriously not. 
See, like, I can't move. No matter what I do, I can't move. Is my game broken? Like... Let me, uh... Secret of the Cursed Mask. Can't move on world map. Control guide. Using the controller. World map view. The crescent moon shaped icon in the world map represents this nation can travel to. Uh. If a question mark appears and indicates an optional event. Save mode, tools, equipping accessories. So there's no roads that have opened up yet that I can see, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any roads. So that means that we're we're forgetting something here is what it's telling us. But what the heck are we missing? I'm going to make a new save in a new location. But yeah, I just... The only reason why I really want to play the new assassins or the assassins creed games again is because i want to play the new ones and i don't want to play through the games without uh like out of order i want to play through them all in order let me uh i'm gonna pull up this over here uh, kagome joins up shippo joins up Check the sign if need be and follow the path up. This next screen has two demon clouds. Hmm. I am seriously lost. Like, for real, if anybody knows what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here, I am open to any and all suggestions. Do I need to, like, go to the menu or something? Let's see, we got items. Okay, nothing. We got statuses. Cool. Switch status display. Wait, what was the switch member? Oh, members. I thought that said memories. Having a white font on all these people's white ass clothes is not the best idea, but I guess that's all right. Equipment. I mean, I don't think we need to mess around with that. File. Tag along. Okay, we switched the two people. Is that what we need to do? Or no, that's just the person that walks around with us, though, right? So we can move, we can walk slowly, confirm, talk, look, return, cancel. Wouldn't this make more sense? X to confirm, circle to go back. Yeah. And then square to walk slowly. Yeah, let's do that one. That makes more sense to me. All right, so now that we got Kagome with us, maybe now we can leave? I have. <laughs> I don't know, man. I wasn't paying that much attention to to the the story, I admit, like whenever we were talking to people and whatnot, but I didn't expect uh, to just get completely soft locked or something. I don't know exactly why you started playing with them. You actually like the lore of the series a lot. Same, same. Uh, went through the painful process of playing the them poorly aged games and poorly aged. They are <laughs> very poorly aged. Oh, my Lord, this is what we had to do, isn't it? We had to go to the general store before we could leave. I bet you that's what the freaking issue was. Because the guy did say something about don't buy anything from the general store. That was it. I, that, I guarantee that was it. That was it. That was freaking it, man. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's what I get for not paying attention, I guess. Sign says watch out for demons on the road to Ekebe Village. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, and it's crazy, like, how much I really loved Assassin's Creed whenever it first came out. Like, I thought it was the most amazing thing, man. Played the hell out of it. And then now going back and trying to play it, it's, it is rough. Like, it's rough, rough. They all aged poorly all the way up to AAC Unity, in your opinion. That game isn't great, but it introduces more modern storytelling. I mean, I'm fine with the way the story was being told in the other games. It's the game itself <laughs> that i have a problem with man like at the time it got a pass because the whole climbing mechanics and the the open world and everything was 
I mean, open worlds were done before, obviously, because you had things like, uh, what the heck's it called? Grand Theft Auto and whatnot before that. But then, like, the climbing and just the level of detail and everything, it was really cool. But now playing it, it's just so incredibly repetitive, like, like, bad, bad of <laughs> how repetitive it is. Yeah, so we already got four party members, which I appreciate that, man. Getting us right into the, the full party quickly. Not making us wait forever to be able to, to do stuff. I appreciate that. Now, I'm assuming they all started at level one, so nobody has any techniques yet. Nope. I mean, co-op. Yeah, no. Nothing. Nothing. So just regular attacks. That's fine. We can, we can do that. Gameplay changed a lot with the Origins more heavily in RPG. That's what everybody's told me. And, I mean, that sounds like a good thing to me, you know? I love RPG games. So having a uh, Assassin's Creed, which was a meh game, take on some RPG elements, I think will really help it a lot. Not a lot of climbing or leveling, just like fantasy creatures. I mean, like... I hope it didn't completely, because Assassin's Creed, that's what made it different from other games. So I hope there's still a fair bit of climbing, at least, right? Hopefully. You mean it has leveling. Okay, okay. I mean, like, I, I'm just saying I hope it still has the parkour elements, I guess. But but uh, I'll totally take having leveling and, and better questing and crap like that. There's fluid climbing and the system is nice, but it's not as heavy a focus. Okay, okay, I gotcha. All right, well, I mean, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try to get to Akebe Village. Or no, you know what? I don't think we are going to. I wanted to make it to Akebe Village before we uh before we quit, but I uh I don't know how much longer that's gonna take. And then once we get there, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of cutscenes. Ah, screw it. We're going to, we're going to go to AKB Village. I have some other stuff I got to take care of today is the only reason why I'm even considering quitting already. <laughs> I am actually enjoying the game. We haven't talked a whole lot about the game. We've just BS'd a lot tonight. But the game is actually pretty fun. So far, pretty simplistic for a uh, RPG game. But, you know, it's also the first hour of a, a JRPG. So what do you expect? Ancient Egypt doesn't have a lot of tall buildings. I mean, that's fair, I guess, but they could have taken some creative liberty with it if they really wanted to. It's not like they didn't take creative liberty with all the other games, you know? I mean, yeah, they, they try to be fairly realistic with a lot of the locations that they did, pulling a lot of uh, historical documents and things to make the buildings as, as accurate as possible and all that BS, but they they also have, you know, magic and and aliens from outer space or some shit i don't remember the lore how it worked exactly it's been a long time since i've played through more than the first game but it's also ridiculous you know you can sit down in a machine and control your ancestors essentially <laughs> and we found some medicinal herbs so that's fancy right oh yeah lol <laughs> oh all right is there any way to see what our abilities are Tech check. There we go. All right. We have to go one by one. That's kind of gross. OMG, finally done. Congrats, Mr. Noodle. I'm proud of you. You did wonderful, love, and all of the presents look amazing. Like, honestly, probably some of the best wrapping I've ever seen. So, like, 10 out of 10, you did wonderful, love. I'm so proud of you. I just I haven't been paying much attention to the level up screen, so I wanted to see if anybody got any special uh, abilities, but it looks like not, sadly, so we're just wasting our time. So let's just get out of here. You didn't wrap your mom's present. You don't know what to do with that. I still think you should just open it up and then shove all of it down in a bag. That way it'll be nice and easy to try and set it up without her noticing and have it running around. You don't have to like pull it out of the box or anything like that. I mean, if you really want to wrap the box, then you can, but we got her mom a robot vacuum and she wants to secretly set it up in one of the side rooms or something and then just have the robot vacuum going around sweeping. 
uh, whenever we start to open presents at her mom's house. So, <laughs> just because she likes being a jerk to her mother. It's kind of her thing. What did the ghost just do? He put us to sleep. Man, I need that ghost in my house if he's going to put me to sleep. That sounds amazing. <laughs> oh, don't give me a surprise look, Mr. Noodle. You know you're a jerk to your mother. Hey, you know who you're not a jerk to, though, love? Me. And you also know who's extremely thirsty? And has nothing to drink upstairs uh coincidentally also me so if you uh if you want to give me a drink that would be amazing JD and gary i mean they might be thirsty too you could give them a drink at the same time but but if you want to if you want to just bring me up a drink real quick i would love you forever what's your optijack if you're still around what is your favorite assassin's creed game so far Honestly curious. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bit cheer. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. Is that your way of getting out of bringing me up a drink? You heard your name? Yeah, I was asking uh, what your favorite Assassin's Creed game is that you've played. I'm assuming you have a favorite. Battle, kill the Canis demon. <laughs> fail you just miss completely good job man probably assassin's creed 4 black flag is that because of all of like the the boating mechanics that you like it so much or was there something specific about like the story that made you really like that one? Oh, also a uh, plant update for everybody if you if you anybody cares to hear how my plants are doing i uh <laughs> Uh, pretty much everything has sprouted now. All of my herbs besides the mint. And uh, what was the other one that hasn't sprouted? There's one other one that hasn't sprouted yet, but it's not really supposed to sprout for like another almost a week. It's a it's a long it, this that specific herb takes a long time to sprout. Mint should have been sprouted by now. It just hasn't for whatever reason. And oh, hey, I had a drink up here and I'm just blind. Ow. Um, so yeah, I don't remember what the, the plant was that was supposed to, that hasn't yet. And then the mint, I don't really care so much anyways, because I don't care about mint. Like, I just, I, I'm not a huge fan of, like, mint flavor anyways. Like, it's fine, but it's never been one of my favorites. And I, I don't know what I would put it in, you know? Maybe, maybe a, a protein shake, or chop it up and put it in ice cream i don't know like what do you do with mint leaves you know i don't drink so i'm not gonna like put it in alcohol but i don't know but like the thyme and and dill and all that crap i'll be able to use pretty nicely so i'm pretty excited for that for that stuff and the basil all the delicious stuff add a leaf to lemonade nate says yeah i mean i guess but again i'm just not a big mint person myself but since I'm gonna, assuming that it does end up sprouting and I didn't get a bad batch, I will give that a try. It's a, it's a good idea. I'm just not, uh, not sure how I like mint. Optijack says, it's a nice setting change and the story was nice and the gameplay shakeup was just nice. <laughs> it's a lot of nices. So what I'm getting is it was a nice game, man. It was, it was nicely put together and they did nice things with it and it looked nice. And it was nice, nice, especially after, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> especially after playing the previous five. Got to remember, even though it's the fourth number one, there's also Brotherhood and Revelation. Yeah, I know. I always call that uh, two, two and two, three, because uh, <laughs> it was actually a, uh, what is the one I play? I don't remember if it was two, two or two, three was the last one that I played, but one of those games were, were, were the last ones that I actually played before kind of giving up on the series. I I actually really enjoyed 2, though, at least back in the day. I don't know if I would now so much, because I also really enjoyed 1, Once Upon a Time, but it doesn't really change taste much, much just adds a nice crisp feel. I mean, I'll try it, because I don't see any reason not to try it at least. Worst case scenario, I lose, what, one glass of lemonade? Like, or I just make Mr. Noodle drink it instead? 
she likes mint. I don't know if she likes fresh mint, but she likes minty flavors stuff at least. I'm still not 100% sure what those orbs are for. Is that maybe our energy or something? I don't... Not positive. But we've collected a fair few of them. And they're there. For when or if we ever need them. Chippo's been taking a nap pretty much the uh, entire last two battles. So, GG Chippo. Even though it's the fourth number. It's, yeah, we read that. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I, I hope it sprouts just because I would hate to have something that, that doesn't. I want all my plants to grow and prosper equally, of course. But at the same time, like, if it doesn't grow, I'll just let the basil get larger. Because <laughs> it's, it's next to both of the, the types of basil that I'm growing. So I can just kind of let them fan out a little bit more and get larger. <laughs> So, like, nah, you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Technically, I have two replacement mint pods that I can put in my hydroponic system as well. So, like, there's that, you know. I could always just put a new one in there and let it grow. But I, I probably won't. I'll probably just let the, the basil do its thing. I'm really excited, though. I... I like the herbs and I'm happy to be growing herbs. I think it'll be nice for like, for instance, sage is one of the things that we're growing. That might be the one that hasn't sprouted yet. I don't remember, but uh, I, I really like or no, not sage time. Time is one of the ones that I'm growing that's already sprouted. Anyways, I really like time, for instance. It's just a really nice herb, in my opinion. So I'm really happy to have that. And I like making homemade pickles. So having fresh dill to put in that would be pretty nice. Um, as well as I like to add dill to a bunch of different sauces and things like that. It's a, a nice, um, reminds me of like tang, but a nice freshness that it brings to dishes. And then basil, you know, for pizza, pasta, pesto, like just all kinds of things. Gomi learned bandage. Inuyasha learned wind scar. Very cool. Shippo learned firebomb. And we learned nothing because apparently our character is a loser. But yeah, so like I know what to do with all the other herbs, but I don't know what to do with mint. Um, but at the same time, though, I'm more excited to be growing in tomatoes and peppers and uh, salad stuff like just just romaine lettuce and, and different salad greens. And, and like you can grow bok choy in these systems and, and I don't even remember everything else. Kale and all that crap, too, although I probably won't grow kale personally. Never really cared for it that much i've heard it's pretty decent fried though and i've never tried it fried so maybe maybe i should give that a chance before i just completely give up on it but uh salad is stuff that usually grows pretty quickly too especially in hydroponic systems so i'm hoping that i'll be able to get with the the six pods that i'll be growing of salad greens and then being able to throw a little bit of herbs down in there for flavor as well. I'm hoping I'll be able to get like a salad every couple of days out of the the machines that I have, which would be pretty cool. And then being able to put some fresh tomatoes down in it and make like salsas and stuff too. And it's just, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. All right, so uh, we got us some tech from some of these guys. Hers is bandage, which is just uh, energy consumed none, emergency treatment for a wounded member. So does that mean we can just heal people indefinitely with her? Like, because energy consumed, none is what it said, right? So we can just use it over and over and over again? That's what it seems like. Then he got something. Is it special tech? Wind scar, that's the one. Da energy consumed, one star. Damage one enemy with surges created with wind scar. I mean, we got to see what it is. Got to at least try it once. I'm guessing that's what the little circles are under the character portraits. Very cool. Very cool. Ah, just a cool 204 damage. <laughs> but yeah, I did use one of the orbs underneath the portrait, so I'm thinking that's what that's about. And then she got some tech too, right? Firebombs or whatever? Energy consume none. Throw firebombs at one enemy. Uh, throw it at you. Why not? And then we'll see. Does it consume a circle? 
just completely fail. Good job. <laughs> cool. I'm uh, I'm happy that we we spent our time doing that because that was awesome. Basically threw firecrackers at the guy and the dude was just like, "What? You know, a couple of firecrackers ain't gonna hurt me, man." All right, just kill this last dude. We'll try firebomb again next time. I would like to see roughly how much damage it puts out, you know, if it's worth watching the animation for, but it's kind of hard to check that whenever you miss, Shippo. Somebody's being cocky. Hey, we leveled up to level four. Very cool. Did we get any abilities yet? Nope. We found a beast fang, though. That's cool, I guess. Not 100% sure what the beast fangs do, but whatever. something on the ground here that's a very pretty lake behind us or pond i guess sacred tree do that's the uh the one that heals us right if we die or i guess it cures battle inability <laughs> is what it said oh man i didn't realize the game was muted nobody told me the game was muted i apologize I mean, you haven't really missed much, just a little bit of banter between the different characters. Or or not even, like, between them, just battle banter really was it. I mean, all I did was, was punch him. Like, it wasn't that impressive, Inuyasha. Calm down. Ugh. Get a drink. Some delicious mandarin orange today. Ah. Clear American. It's like the only thing I drink anymore. Besides water, obviously. Occasionally I'll get like a diet caffeine-free pop, like a root beer or something like that. But I just, I really enjoy hey, Clear American, man. A protection gem. Very cool. Don't know what it does. Can we not uh, interact with that? That's upsetting. It's kind of hard to tell exactly where the center of these encounters are the the purple cloudy thingies that are floating around sometimes i have to run through them it feels like four or five times to get the battle to trigger but i don't think it's like bad hit detection or anything weird like that i think it's just that we're bad at getting through the actual center of it because it's not very obvious where the center is and everybody is picking on shippo aren't they yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for uh, confirming that for me there, Kagome. Appreciate it. Uh, but no, like, she's poison Or he's poisoned. I always forget that ship is a boy. At least I'm pretty sure it was a boy, right? I don't remember. But anyways. Uh, yeah, it's like, he always gets put to sleep. He always gets poisoned. It's just, uh, he's not having a good time of it, man. Can you please hit the dog this time? It looked like that hit. 40 damage. Okay, so not like amazing, but more than your standard attack. And if it's not going to take any energy anyways, then it's probably worth it. Even though it does... Uh, we do have to watch the animation, which kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Alright. Inuyasha, you can kill the ghost, presumably. In one hit. Yeah, he's so much stronger than everybody else, man. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna poison somebody there, Bad Luck Bat, or whatever the hell your name is? All right. Does the fire bombs work on people that are flying? You just watch. Or because he's not touching the ground, is he immune to it? Nope, it works apparently. Them firecrackers must have little BBs in them or something. <laughs> little little shotgun shells of firecrackers, apparently. Sending out shrapnel or something to hit something flying above them. Found a crystal hair gem. Okay. I don't know what that is or does or is for, but we got it, so... Maybe it's not guaranteed if you run through the... The, the cloud, the mist, if you will. Maybe it's not us. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not positive. 
taking a little while for their models to load in, isn't it? Alright, uh, the canines seem a little bit easier to kill than the ghosts, so we'll have all the weak characters kind of go after them. And then good old Inuyasha can go after the ghosts. Ah, nice fail, loser. <laughs> oh, putting us to sleep. Who's gonna who's gonna succumb? Really, Inuyasha and Kagome? It's probably like the best two characters we got. Crap. Okay. Well, that's all right. We'll use fire bombs on ghosts because surely that's gonna be ultra effective, right? You just watch. We're going. We're gonna catch the the sheets that make up the <laughs> the ghost on fire, or not, or they're just gonna dodge it entirely. <laughs> that's possible too. Oh, and they're faster than us too, aren't they? No, nah, I guess it's about the same as the main character. All right. Get rid of the dog, please. Nice hit, you did it, you did it. Is he dead? Yes. Does the fire have sage in it? That's a cool idea. Add some sage into your fire bombs before you blow them up. That'd be a neat little, uh, a cute little lore thing if that were the case. Ah, not enough to kill, sadly. Is everybody awake yet? Looks like it. Inuyasha literally didn't even feel that. Or that one, apparently. Yeah, zero. No damage at all. If you want to keep attacking him, that's fine. Like, feel free to, to attack the dude that you're doing zero damage to. Nice arrow of light right through the black void of a face there. A thwack. Very cool. <laughs> we found another something. <laughs> I clicked through it too fast. I didn't see what it was, but we, we got a thing. All right, I'm assuming we're getting close at this point. Yeah, okay. Gotta be. I'm a traveling salesman. Would you like to buy something? Maybe. What do you got? Let's see. Uh, like nothing that I care about. Okay. I mean, a silver bell could maybe come in handy because we do keep getting put to sleep, but it's not like we're having trouble with any of the fights yet either, though. They've all been very easy so far. So I think we're fine. I don't think we need to worry about that. I didn't even see any mist up there. Maybe there are random encounters, man. I don't know. There you are. Just two random dogs. Are we sure these are demon dogs? They look like just regular ancient dogs to me. Like, they don't look anything like Inuyasha. I'm starting to think we're just a party of assholes running around LARPing, fighting dogs, like... Don't worry, that's a foam sword. And you can't see it too well, but there's a boxing glove on the end of all of our arrows. <laughs> and these aren't actually firecrackers, they're just smoke bombs with uh, orange smoke. And then the main character there, whose name I don't remember, Kurigami or whatever his name is, <laughs> he actually just runs up and pets the dog. Every time it's his turn to attack. That's why he's so useless. I keep running around like against the, the edge of the walls and stuff because it looks like there are... Or it doesn't look like, but I keep wondering if there will be... Kind of hidden areas that we can go into or whatever. But uh, so far it seems like the path will always be pretty clearly marked. And I'm also fairly certain there wasn't any purple mist here either. So I'm thinking there are random encounters. It's just the purple mist ones are either a heightened chance of having an encounter or a guaranteed if you if you run through it just right. Leave it to me. Which is fine. I, I have nothing against random encounters, man. Obviously, Final Fantasy is one of my favorite game series. Pokemon is one of my favorite game series. Like, I am obviously fine with random encounters. 
Although having the visible Pokemon in some of the new Pokemon games is pretty cool. In that game specifically, because you're trying to collect collect them all, right? That's that's a big, big thing in Pokemon is catching and collecting them. So being able to see what you're about to get into a battle with to, to potentially catch is a huge help, man. Really like that mechanic, and I hope it's something that sticks around in a bunch of the newer Pokemon games. Ooh, nice. That must have been a crit or something. We got the, the fancy little flash there, as well as did... 40 damage, which is a fair bit more than what we normally do. Right. Oh, I didn't mean to go into the menu here. Just exit out of that. Oh. Yeah, okay. There's gotta be random encounters. There's no way, man. We would have seen the mist. If there was mist there again. I'm, I'm convinced at this point that it's completely random. Or, or, well, not completely random, I guess, because there are some areas with clearly marked mist, but... <laughs> I'm convinced that there are at least some random encounters in the game. I did it. You didn't do it good enough, though, man. Why are you, uh... Complimenting him, man? He did 20 damage. He didn't even take down one dog. Did she just say you were right? I don't really understand the banter between these guys. <laughs> Just playing random qu quips at random time is what it looks like. Me? Yes, you. It's your turn. I need you to throw some firecrackers at this dude, please. <laughs> you know another game that I'm pretty excited to try out at some point? It's a series that I've always heard of but never got around to actually playing before. Uh, Xenosaga, man. I picked up the, the first one. I saw it for a decent price the other day, so I went ahead and picked it up. And uh, it arrived yesterday or the day before or something like that. Hey, we learned a new technique, Wheel of Fire. Very cool. We'll have to try that out in the next encounter, assuming that we get another one before reaching the, the village. But yeah, I, I picked it up finally. And, uh, I'll be trying it out here soon, probably, but I haven't yet, obviously. And, uh, I don't know a whole lot about the series. I'm fairly certain it's another JRPG, though, like a turn-based game. But it has, like, a, a mech-German influence sort of deal or something like that. Not a- not, like I said, I don't know the details of it. I just know that it's a pretty popular series, something that I've wanted to try. And I'm pretty certain Xenogears, which is a series that's uh, kind of still going on, is somehow related. I could be mistaken on that. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. But, uh, yeah. So that's that's a game that we'll probably be trying out pretty soon here for the PS2 Gauntlet. Um, other than that, what other games am I really excited for? I mean, there's always the games that I, I already know that I love, right? The, the Kingdom Hearts and the God of Wars and stuff like that that I plan on playing here soon. But I already know I love all those games. I've played them before. I'm more excited, for the most part, for all the games that I never got to play growing up. Uh, a lot of sequels too, like Jack and Daxter 2 and 3 that I never got to finish, or, or in 3's case, I'm not even sure if I ever played. Um, I guess I played all the Kingdom Hearts and God of War games, but <laughs> still, stuff like that, you know, that I... Uh, that I never played. There's one or two of the Ratchet and Clank games on PS2 that I never played, so I'm really excited to try those out. There's a lot, there's a lot of great games on the PS2, man. I'm just uh, the PS2 Gauntlet's been a lot of fun trying all these things out and getting to play games that I otherwise probably never would have gotten to. And of course, I get uh, I get to sit here and do it with all of you guys. So that's awesome as too. That is awesome as as too. That is awesome as well. <laughs> but anyways, for tonight though, I think that's pretty much all the time that we have. I'm going to have to go ahead and end it here, just making our way to Akebe Village. If anybody wants to see me play more of this game on stream, make sure to let me know, whether it's on Twitter or here on Twitch in one of my streams and chat, or uh, leave a comment on YouTube or whatever. Let me know if you want to see more of it, because I will be happy to finish this one on stream. Um, although, having played through the first hour or so of it, it's going in my backlog, I think, is what I'm going to kind of rate it. Um, for, for my first impression here, it's a game that I definitely want to play more of, but it's not one that I'm wanting to do kind of right away. 
but it's also not one that I'm completely just, you know, like, eh, I'll, I would like to play it sometime, but I, I, I don't necessarily want to finish it. So it's going on my backlog. That's the rating I'm going to give it. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bit cheer. Thank you, love, just as we are signing off now. But yeah, so uh, for the last time, I am glad that everybody came and joined me tonight. Optijack, Nate, Mr. Noodle, of course, anybody else who stopped in and just watched. I appreciate you all being here and chatting with me for a little bit while I play these games. I hope you all have a good night, and I hope to see you again next time in uh, maybe Sunday, right? Today's Friday. I'm off. On, I'm not doing a Saturday stream. Sunday, I would normally be doing a Lord of the Rings stream for, for three, four hours, but I'm not doing that this Sunday because me and Mr. Noodle actually have a day off together. So we are going to be going out for a bit. I may end up doing a stream a little bit later Sunday afternoon, though. Or I may just end up taking the, the, the day off. That's to be determined. And then I'll be putting up my schedule on Twitch for next week here soon, though. I've been, I've been a little slacking with getting the schedule up a week ahead of time. But yeah, anyways, for the last time. Bye-bye, everyone. Hope you have a good night. And I'll see you next time.